my friends. There's been an accident on the PIE. This is after Jalan Anak Bukit in the right lane in the direction of the airport. Uh, traffic on expressway is kind of heavy, but I imagine this might be the last day I'll be saying this for about a month uh, because the school runs are going to come to an end or at least a hiatus. Uh, a car's broken down on AYE after Alexander Road entrance towards Tuas. Let's get to weather. No rain. No rain um, today. A, a nice dry day. Good for football practice, you think, Arnold? Sure. The pitch's going to be dry. Football. Nobody's going to be slipping away. Absolutely. <laughs> Although sometimes a, a bit of uh, moisture is good, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Fundy's laughing. I don't you know can, what he's going to say. You can put in the tackles <laughs> a bit easier. The ball slides and tricks the goalkeeper. Right, right, Fundy? It's very hot now. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. so hot. Huh? Those no. who are training in the morning, it's, it's worse. Yeah, oh, it's okay. But must the pitch be a little bit moist? Better. Better. Yeah, see, oh. see. Ah, I got it wrong, man. I'm dry. sorry. I can bluff my way. <laughs> I can bluff my way in football. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Um, the high today, before we get to Fundy's conversation, 35 degrees Celsius. Always take the weather <laughs> with you. Mitsubishi Electric Starmax Aircon saves you energy and money. It's easy to clean and is one of the quietest. CNA Campus, Singapore's uni and poly students tell it like it is. We are going to walk in the shoes of some young couples here to find out about their tumultuous journey towards securing a treasured build-to-order flat. Rental prices are very, very expensive. More so than, I think, a couple of years ago at least. I'm Zachary Thang. Join me as I follow the trials and tribulations of young couples hunting for their first home. That's this week on the Assembly Ground from NUS. Friday afternoon at 5.30 and Sunday morning at 9.30 on CNA 938. Singapore Stories is now on Me Listen. Experience as a litigator actually prepares you for a whole host of different things. You feel what they're going through, maybe you identify with your problems. Communicating with my heart in a very specific way. I chose sculpture because it's tough. <laughs> the people behave the way they do because something else is affecting them. But at the end of it, it helps us to appreciate joy even more. I'm Eugene Mo. Join me on weeknights from 9 on CNA 938 and anytime on Me Listen SG or the Me Listen app. Talk to us anytime. WhatsApp CNA 938 on 963 11938. Good morning, 814 TGIF. This is Asia First with Yasmin and Arnie. You're in the middle of a stretch. Is this because you're kind of getting ready for some sort of football training, Arnold? Uh, you know, he, I'll guess. Uh, I'll next guess. Yes. Fundy Ahmad, he, could do, he could do something he, for you he now. He puts me in that frame of mind, you know. <laughs> I feel I need to be prepared, you know, <laughs> to stand up and, and, and jump around or do something, you know. He, he has that kind of effect I don't know. on me. Arnold at 55, <laughs> do you think he has a build to, you oh, know, yeah, potentially start strong, somewhat of a football career? I I, That's so bad, huh? It's the only thing that keeps me going every morning. If I if I don't try and you know stay fit, I would not be here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll be like, "Hey, wake up, already not." <laughs> <laughs> but Fandi Ahmad, my gosh, no introduction needed at all. And thank you for being with us here on CNA nine three eight. Good thank morning you. to you. Good morning. Good morning, mevrouw. Yeah, yeah meneer. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it, met jou? Alles goed. Ik ken ze. Uh, een beetje Nederlands praten. There oh. you go. From Ajax in Groningen there days. There you go. Fantastic. You <laughs> haven't left it behind. It's a slice nah. of your past there. Een beetje, een beetje. Wow. Okay, here's another slice of your past, Fundy. All right. Fundy's my name. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 1993, the dream team was it rap or song? What was it called? I'm not sure, what? It is, but I think it's a song. <laughs> Bundy's my name. You know? Football's my game. Yeah, yeah, Singapore's football icon. So great memories. I mean, when you hear that, I mean, what yeah. comes to mind straight away? I know you you started chuckling and smiling straight away. <laughs> so it has to be a happy memory. It's very happy memory with yeah. all the lads. You know, the guys. Uh, those days we uh, like a family, and uh, it was interesting getting everybody in the studio recording yeah. and shouting yeah. and not everyone's and, a singer obviously and, not, and, and some, some of the, the plays like Jang Jung Malik you know when they sing I'm Jang Jung I will take you out <laughs> <laughs> you know? so we all laugh and we have fun at times yeah. yeah I can't imagine so, yeah. so you're here partly because uh, you're Fandi but also because you have a new book I just yes. wanna, I'm, just, I'm just curious you know whose idea was this book okay they're they're outside actually it's Ellen and, and Durga they're yeah met me uh, 
what few years back you know uh, i think it was 2017 and started talking and ellen is a fan of singapore football especially uh, you know especially me so mm. he wanted badly so he asked uh, Durga, uh if you have a chance to write a book who can mm. be mm. the one he said okay. and she she asked, asked him and then he said uh uh, Fundy, he said. So yeah. why? He, said, he he was a fan since uh, those days. Okay. And watching football, he was young, and with his father at that time, he told me. So we met at uh, Waffle Town at uh, where is it? Uh, near Newton there. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, small mall there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we started meeting, and then we start the the thing going uh-huh. from 2017 and 2018. We started the journey. Going to KL, interview the the fr- my friends and teammates, and then did you say to yes home. straight away? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, was this is a bit of an honor for you as yeah, well? Honor, yeah, because yeah. I know uh, time is uh, you know so precious for me. It's getting true. old, getting it's old. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, you don't look. You, you're going to be sixty, but Fandi, you know, the the truth is, you don't look like you're going to be sixty. All right, that that that's for sure. Were you were you a good interviewee? I mean, we hear stories about how some are uh, no problem, right? Anytime, you know, the, the author wants to talk to you, yeah. no problem. And then you disappear. Sub- then uh, other times, other, other, one, other, I suppose, you know, subjects are a bit more difficult. Oh, no time, not free. Got to do uh, this, got to do that. Yeah. I try my best to do yeah. all the interviews when, when people invite me or invited me mm. before. Okay. So because uh, as, a, as a football player and then, uh, you know, the public knows me and also the fans i don't like to turn them down because it's, it's a it's a job for me to create something for football to get more uh, news and and everything is on there because i believe in 1981 or 83 i was in the national service we played i was invited to play with uh, moktada hari you oh. know the famous mm-hmm. and and thai uh, Pierre Pong, Pierre yeah. Pong. Okay. So invited to play against Maradona's. Incredibly, uh, I know these names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maradona's yeah, uh, team yeah. was Boca Juniors when he mm. was a okay. very famous yeah. in, in Argentina. We okay. played a friendly game in, in Kuala Lumpur and uh, we met Maradona. So we found that uh, he's a bit, uh, you know, difficult to, you know, to get too close to. Even when we asked for autograph and he denied. So I was a bit disappointed yeah. because I thought he's, he was one of our idols at mm, time. Okay. So we want just autograph, but he turned us down. And then I always remember that if I became famous, you know, that time, say, I will not do this because these are the fans. Without the fans, you are nobody. That's true. So mm. I just like to inspire and help people to make me f- people happy. Even in a game, when I go into the game, I always say, today I want to do something special. I visualize the thing. I want to score spectacular. Even sometimes I'll be marked throughout the Mark very tight by the defenders throughout the game. Maybe 80 minutes. I just need 10 minutes to to show my... To make a difference. The difference, yeah. yeah. So spectacular <laughs> yeah. goals. Yeah. I have to say, a lot of your philosophy is included in this book. It's yeah. called Honor and Sacrifice. Um, yeah. And it's an authorized biography by Durga, who's also here and will be speaking with us later. Um Fandi, I know you want to make a difference, and you do. I mean, you have a spectacular effect on people every time you walk in the room. But these days, the thing is, it's not just about you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Fandi, Listen to it's this. It's very interesting. Every every time your name comes up, and of course, in the lead up to today, nowadays, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say, "Hey, Fandi is coming to talk to us." And then you know, the people I talk to, oh, exciting! But then immediately, our son's going to be there. <laughs> Yeah, 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 actually, I, I'm passing the beta now. The yeah. torch is on them. Yeah. To, so, to, so you have no problem? This, is, this was part of the plan? Because that's what they <laughs> wanted. They, they yeah. told me they want to be a professional player. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, when we were in Singapore and then I coaching, I was coaching in, in mm. Indonesia. Okay. And I can see that Iksan, who doesn't really like football, suddenly he blossomed there. Mm. In Indonesia, where he started playing okay. and Ifan was there. I know yeah. he, he's quite good. It, and he, Ifan was playing in a different uh, position, different okay. role as a striker. Now yeah, he's yeah. a defender because of his physique. Yeah. So I'm just happy for them. I always remind them, important is humility. You know, you must be, you must have the 3Ds. I, I should add, right? Yeah. These people who've been talking to me are all women. 
of various ages, <laughs> you know? from young to old. Okay, uh, his son's going to be there. Uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, that that one you cannot deny. Yeah. It's always now. Is uh, which which son they will ask uh, who's coming? And even yes, yesterday we were in yesterday we were in school yeah. at Kranji. Uh, next time you bring your daughter and your son. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I say okay. Funny will be leaving very soon, so they will take over. How do you feel though? I mean, it's almost a bit like you're not good enough now. No, oh yeah. Alone. Uh, I can understand. I'm getting old. I'm just happy to see, and then and I know that they will carry uh, the name, you know, to the best of their ability and protect. Uh, and I always tell them to be humble. This is very important. And I always like when I. They were young. I said, you must have the three Ds and you need to sacrifice. Are you willing to go overseas? Because if you want to play professional football, professional, uh-huh. professional football, you must leave Singapore early right. before the age of 19 or 20. So which brings me to a very important question. You know, the book, your book, you yeah. know, talks about a lot about your childhood, what you went through, yeah. your parents' divorce, what you, you actually moved overseas yeah. as well. And yeah. you played football overseas for, yeah. for many years. Yeah. How much of your personal experience have you actually, you know, use it when you when you when you bring up your sons and your mm-hmm. daughter? You know, is it has it been very important? Have you, yeah. I suppose, passed on these values? Yes, all the values uh, are with them because uh, I believe uh, that uh, without all these values, they can't go far. And especially like Iman, she's very talented. She's very hardworking. I got a lot of feedbacks from all the uh, from the studios, from the photographer, from the director that she is so professional in doing her job. And I'm very happy. And she she has a, a degree in philosophy. Uh, Psychology, sorry, mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So she is attending and helping uh, the kids at school as well. Every month she goes to school, uh, conducting her consultants. And so uh, importantly, the kids are well behaved and well mannered. That is very important for me. It's not about the success of their football, but it's important. You must respect the elders. Mm. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah. And you've mentioned these three Ds a few times already yeah. in our chat so far: determination, dedication, discipline. And yeah. sacrifice. This yeah. is your life philosophy. Yeah. How, how did it get to the point where you could actually, you know, put it down in words like this to the three Ds? All right. Okay. Since young, when I started playing, and my coaches always uh, talk to us, always advise us about all these three Ds and sacrifices. So when I was young, and then I moved to the next chapter of my life, I brought it up together with me, and I wanted to be the best player. I don't worry about. I'm not worried about the players, but I want to improve myself. And ever since I uh, uh, nine, I think nine years old, I told my father I want to be a footballer. Not knowing there is no professional our time, we never thought about <laughs> anything. It's all passion and playing yeah. for the country. Right. So that's all. And then I wanted to wear the. The, now the currency game, the red jacket yeah. and the beige pants. You know, it's an honor for me. And as well, I sacrifice a lot about this because I always say that I want to be the best player and I will work hard and I don't want to be a reserve. So <laughs> okay. my determination, dedication to Never sit on the bench. Never. <laughs> okay. that's, that's what my aim. And, and what was the most difficult part of your football career? Was there one moment, one time mm-hmm. when it, it got to you and you maybe considered retiring or doing something oh. else? Did that ever happen? Uh, never happened to me, actually. Never? Never it's happened all, to me. All only, the way, yeah? only injuries sometimes right. is a bigger setback. I've had uh, 15 operations. 15, 15. operations? Yes. Wow. So uh, hopefully, you know, uh, these few years I'll be okay because I'm not act- too active. I'm just still playing uh, weekly with the ex-national players. And... Uh, yeah, when in Holland was difficult for me. Yeah, when I, I was going to ask you about yeah. that. Going overseas, that that's really yeah. tough, right? Because yeah. your parents can only be with you or any family can only be with you mm-hmm. for that long. And so, then you're basically on your own. Plus it was foreign. Yeah. And I remember we had a conversation about how cold you were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, growing in the was in the north, you know, yeah. it's very, very cold. And and when you when I got injured that time, I uh, was feeling so lonely because the team is training and I have to go to physiotherapies, to the hospital every day, working out very hard, yeah. doing a lot of weights, training. But, you know, it really start thinking, hey, whether this is for me. But I keep fighting, fighting. And when I came back after two months, that was my real break on the first game in, in October, yeah. 
October 15, I think I scored two goals again. Go ahead, Eagles. My first game and the second game yeah. was the UEFA Cup mm. against Inter Milan. Oh, so that was wow. the last one. That, that was the one. Yeah. That was, was that, the magic was goal. That, was that the goal of your career? I mean, that was the most memorable. Yeah. Even though it wasn't the best goal, actually. Actually, I've scored many goals. All the what kick, cycle, kick, bicycle, kick, <laughs> super kick, <laughs> yeah. suck, rock, kick. But Thank that you. was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, outside of football, outside of your kids, I, I must pay a, 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 a moment of tribute to your wife, Wendy, as well, yes. whom you talk about in a great way um, right. in the book. The point where her life was slipping away. She's yeah. had some health struggles yeah. and she's lived a life with you knowing yeah. that she would never have you all to herself <laughs> yeah yeah she actually she she's very supportive of me even though she wasn't that well you know that time and then since indonesia when we were working there she's always the 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 pillar of strength in the family you know guiding the kids when i'm i'm away playing football but she was not well herself but she's always fighting and always believing and giving me positive uh, you know attitude okay. so that's very important and she's very uh, loving mother and uh, you know we are, we all love her so much and we, we we were at one stage was very afraid that she might just uh, go so we were afraid and the kids were very young and uh, when she fell sick uh, uh, we we all were very sad and you know but uh lucky you know god is so great that you know revive her that time yeah, yeah thankfully so fandi uh about to turn 60 you you speak as though you you you're nearing the end but you're nowhere near the end <laughs> what, this song was just the yeah, beginning what, what, maybe yeah exactly what lies ahead for you and for wendy and the family i mean but you personally i mean what do you what do you see yourself doing Actually, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, after the six, <laughs> after my 60th birthday, yeah. I still love coaching. Yeah. I, I love coaching and my hopefully I have a chance to go overseas again, but depends on when this condition. But with her condition like this, and she's going for operation this coming mm. Tuesday, mm -hmm. she encouraged me to go. No, you don't worry about me. I'll be fine. She's so strong. I, I can't believe it. And and she's like like she's never had any illnesses you know and it's been uh, more than 10 years she's struggling but but she's a strong lady i really respect her and, and you know we don't want to lose her but i still thinking whether to stay back here in singapore or move overseas i'm fond of the thai league now i'm watching a oh. lot because my two boys, boys are there <laughs> yes. yeah. so every now and then i just uh, you know take a flight and watch a game and come back the next day or something yeah. okay Yep. Quick, quick uh, birthday wishes for Fandi from everybody texting yeah. in. Hannah says, happy birthday, Fandi. You're still looking so healthy and young. May you have a lovely celebration this Sunday with your wife Aww. and family. And Jimmy <laughs> says, he cannot forget the moment in that 1980 Malaysia Cup. Amazing memories for him and his football-loving family. You are football royalty to us. Thank Fandi, you very much. What a time. Thank you very much yes. for, for joining us here yeah. in the studio today. Next time you come back, bring your son. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sons and daughters. All right. Thank you. Sons and Thank daughters. You, it's and a Yasmin. deal, Fandi. Yeah. Fandi Ahmad. Uh, well, I don't need to say any more no, about you that. Don't. I don't, right? Okay. Our big guest. We're back. On CNA 938. And we're back with the news shortly. Here's how the Moomoo Trading App takes your investments from zero to hero. Enjoy zero commission on US stocks forever. Free real-time market data. Extended trading hours. AI analytical tools and charts. 24-hour customer service and many more. Moomoo, the number one choice to trade in the US market and beyond. Download the Moomoo app now and get one free share with up to $1,000. Terms and conditions apply. This advertisement has not been reviewed by MAS. Half a million businesses choose Zoom. With phone, chat, workspaces, apps, events, and video in a single platform, Zoom powers all your communication needs. Organizations around the world use the reliable and secure Zoom platform to enable new ways of working, learning, providing healthcare, hosting events, and supporting their customers. Zoom powers all your communication needs. Explore how Zoom can enable your business at zoom.com. Zoom, how the world connects. This is CNA 938. Understand Asia. Just past 30 here on Asia First. The United States says it's not looking for conflict or a new Cold War with China. 
It, neither is it seeking to sever China from the global economy or change the country's political system. But Washington says it does want Beijing to adhere to international rules. In a speech, the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken defined America's policy on China. He praised the Chinese for their country.